See, a lot of people try to turn a testimony to a mess of money, right? <laughs> why Turk didn't receive that same red carpet treatment when he came home after being in prison almost nine years. Man, to be honest, that small talk, right? People ask me all kind of shit, man, the feds. I did eight year, eight months, 16 days, came home straight. Right. Ain't roll a red carpet out for me. Mm. Birdman is one of the most notable names in the hip hop scene, with his influence spanning over decades of discovering new artists. He's responsible for bringing artists like Lil Wayne and Turk on the scene with the Hot Boys. But despite giving Turk a successful career run in the late 90s, they somehow fell out and things became heated between them. How did Turk and Birdman go from being partners in music to sworn enemies? What happened during Turk's time in Birdman's crew? Let's find out the truth. Where it all started. In the late 90s, southern states like Texas and Atlanta were making their way into the hip-hop scene. Southern hip-hop emerged because of the uniqueness of their sound. As the sound evolved, New Orleans wanted to secure their space in the industry. And although Master P was leading the movement, a rival crew called Cash Money came and took over. Cash Money was run by Birdman, and he had BG, Juvenile, Turk, and Lil Wayne under him, and beats coming out from Manny Fresh. Turk was 13, and Lil Wayne was 11 when they joined the label, so their parents pretty much handed them over to Birdman to build their career. Cash Money started gaining recognition with the release of BG's album, Chopper City, It's All On You, and Juvenile Soldier Rags. None of the albums had an insane amount of airplay, but they sold hundreds of thousands of copies. In 1997, Birdman decided to form a group consisting of all solo artists. At the time, it made sense to form music groups. So Lil Wayne, Turk, Juvenile, and BG formed a group called Hot Boys. It was a New Orleans slang for people who attract unnecessary police attention because of their reckless living. While the name wasn't ideal, they turned out to be one of the most commercially successful hip-hop groups at the time. The group made its first public appearance on Juvenile's Soldier Rags and also made contributions to BG's debut album, It's All On You. They made a name for themselves in the hip-hop scene because of their individual personalities and talents. At the time, Lil Wayne and Turk were known for how well they rapped about living on the streets because growing up in New Orleans in the late 90s meant exposure to a dangerous lifestyle. Despite their young age, they were able to create relatable street sounds and that helped them create a name for themselves quickly. The group released its debut album, Get It How You Live, and it shone light on all of their individual talents. To be fair, Turk and Lil Wayne helped the group find its bearing in the industry because of their gangster lifestyle as teenagers. The album sold 400,000 copies and got Cash Money Records a distribution deal worth 30 million with Universal Records. It was one of the biggest distribution deals in all of rap's history, making it evident that the Hot Boys were ready to take over the New Orleans rap scene. The deal with Universal Records led to the release of Juvenile's 400 Degrees, which eventually sold four times platinum in America. On the album, Hot Boys had one of their hottest records called Back That Ass Up. The song was so good that it became an anthem at some point. The Hot Boys made another appearance in BG's 1999 album, Chopper City, In the Ghetto, and Lil Wayne's The Block Is Hot. On July 27, 1999, the Hot Boys released their second major label studio album called Guerrilla Warfare, and it reached number one on the Billboard magazine Top R&B Hip Hop Albums chart and number five on the Billboard 200. The album featured two of the group's charting singles called We On Fire and I Need A Hot Girl. The album had contributions from Big Time Baby and Manny Fresh. Like with the group's previous album, Manny Fresh produced every track. In essence, the group was doing great and ranking in money with their music, but for every successful music group, there are always issues with finances. Members start leaving the group. Despite the success of the group, members of Hot Boys started noticing foul play and decided that it was time to leave the group. Because it's like a lot of them niggas mad at me from doing the same thing that everybody well, hold on, hold on, hold on. did. But you was the first one, so let's just be clear. No, I wasn't the first one. I mean, one. first one, like, especially at the Hot to Boys. Leave? At the Hot Boys? No. No, you, Juvenile. You, oh, okay. Then okay. yeah, BG yeah, 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 did yeah. me. It's a story oh. behind it. In 2003, BG, Turk, and Juvenile left Cash Money Records to pursue solo careers, or so they wanted people to think. In reality, the members of the group were not getting their money because of financial mismanagement. According to Turk, he worked on around 80 records and got zero dollars for all his efforts, which was quite embarrassing. Imagine spending years of your life trying to keep a group afloat, only for you to leave with nothing to show for it. 
Turk's unsuccessful solo career. After Turk left Hot Boys, he was no longer under the control of any record label, until he went to sign a new record deal with Laboratory Records. Before he left Cash Money Records, he released his debut solo album called Young and Thuggin', and it peaked at number 9 on the Billboard 200. Under his new label, he released two more studio albums called Raw and Uncut and Penitentiary Chances. The albums were mildly successful, considering the fact that he was under a lesser-known label and his split from the Hot Boys was a bit messy. Before BG left Hot Boys, there was already plans to drop him because Birdman was worried that he was too deep into street life. When artists get involved in dangerous activities, it could affect other members of their crew because it makes the cops place so much focus on them. After BG left Hot Boys, he had a heroin addiction and also got arrested. People were expecting that one of the other members that left the group would be next to get arrested, and they were not wrong. Turk Gets Arrested on January 26, 2004, Shelby County narcotics officers and a SWAT team got a warrant to search Turk's house as they had suspicions that he was distributing drugs. When they got to his house, Turk ignored their knocking and they burst into the home. Turk then got into a shootout with the officers and after 15 minutes, he surrendered and was arrested. Man, bro, after I got shot at 52 times and get hit a graze. Came out that month told my wife I'm hit. She said, I don't know you is. I said, I don't know. I'm asking you. Mm. I thought I was hit. I thought my face was shot off, dog. This is SWAT team shooting. You know what I'm saying? And I didn't get hit or grazed. After spending two years in jail, he was sentenced to 14 years imprisonment in 2006. So he was supposed to come out of jail in 2020. But while in jail, he took a plea deal and got a reduced sentence. He was released in 2012, way earlier than he was supposed to come out. However, he came back to nothing. When BG got released from jail, Birdman and other former members of the Hot Boys crew went to welcome him. But for Turk, Birdman didn't even acknowledge that he was out of jail. And it's probably because Turk called out Birdman on a radio show after leaving the group. After Turk got out of jail, Birdman also took shots at him. I love what my did for us. And um, just, I think I'm like fresh, jewelry. Gotta give a shot to Jeezy. I gotta always give a shot to BG. We gotta always give a shot to Tunchy, Lil Weezy. And we want to be gentlemen, so we always gotta just give a shot to Jeezy Drake and think of the guy that's cash money paying there. We all been Which was an insult to Turk, since Birdman was indirectly saying that he lacked talent. Turk slams Birdman with a lawsuit. Remember after all the members of Hot Boys left the group in Cash Money Records? Lil Wayne stayed back and decided to rebuild the label with Birdman. The relationship between Wayne and Birdman soon started to turn sour also. Lil Wayne revealed that Birdman and Cash Money Records had violated the terms of their agreement by delaying the delay of his album, Carter 5. He sued Birdman and Cash Money Records for $51 million, which actually gave way for other victims of the label to step forward with their own lawsuits. In the same year, Turk slammed Birdman and Cash Money Records with his own lawsuit, claiming that they did fraudulent accounting and weren't transparent with how much he was truly making off his music. All the lawsuits were settled outside of court, and Turk walked away with $1.3 million. It just ain't come together, man, you know what I'm saying? And I mean, shit, we here today, you know? And it ain't because of that situation not working out. It's because of what's right, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want nothing more, nothing less. I want what's rightfully mine, that's it, you know what I'm saying? It's straight up, man, like, I got a family, I got kids. However, the settlement that Turk received was more of a severance from Birdman and Cash Money Records. Birdman started planning a Hot Boys reunion, but ensured that Turk wasn't let in on the plans, which meant that he didn't want Turk anywhere around him, and Turk got the memo. Is Turk really scared of Birdman? At the end of the day, the music industry is a business, and Birdman is a very intelligent person when it comes to his money. This brings up a theory in the matter, and one that could easily be true. Their beef with each other could easily be fabricated to draw attention and relevance to a group that has been separated for years. With talk of a reunion tour for the Hot Boys, could this just be a publicity stunt to bring in more ticket sales when the dates are finally released? In a recent interview with Turk, a knowing smile hints at the possibility that their feud may be more than meets the eye. The internet is the reason that a lot of things not like it should and like it gonna be. You feel me? So y'all just got to sit back and 
just enjoy it and watch, you know what I'm saying? And I let them keep on being on. It's good for business. It's good, it's great for business, you feel me? From the heights of their success with the Hot Boys to the depths of their public rift, Turk and Birdman have danced to the rhythm of controversy. Hip-hop is a fast-paced world where headlines are currency and drama reigns supreme. With BG recently released from prison and then locked back up for breaking probation, it seems like the reunion tour may be pushed back until he figures out his legal issues. We will see if this opens more conflict between Turk and Baby. Turk stands tall, a testament to resilience in the face of industry politics. But in the end, it's not just about the beats and the rhymes, it's about mastering the game. Seems like we'll just have to do what Turk says and sit back and wait to see what happens. What do you think about the Hot Boys reunion tour? Do you think Turk will be a part of it or will Birdman exclude him? We appreciate you hanging out with us. And if you like this one, make sure to check out these other videos. Help us with the algorithm by leaving a comment or hitting the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and other content in the world of hip hop and rap.